my channel. So today I'm sharing with you three really easy Thanksgiving side dishes. Thanksgiving is one of my favorite holidays, mainly for the food um, and for so many other reasons, of course, but I do love the food. So I thought I would share with y'all three really easy and yummy recipes. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I would love for you to stick around and be sure to hit that subscribe button so that you never miss a video. But let's go ahead and let's get started cooking. Okay, so this recipe is a crock pot recipe. This one is tried and true. I love it. You always need some good hearty carbs at the Thanksgiving table. And I know a lot of people go the sweet potato route and the mashed potato route, but this one is a cheesy potato in the crock pot. So you're gonna use hash browns and I promise you, you're gonna wanna take it this year. It is so, so, so good. I love this year round and I promise you everyone will love it. So I'm gonna flip you around and show you all the ingredients and okay, so for the cheesy potatoes, you're gonna take one bag of the frozen hash browns. I have the two pound bag, two tablespoons of melted butter, one and a half cups of sharp cheddar cheese, one can of cream of chicken, and one cup of sour cream. You're basically just gonna throw all this in the crock pot, and then when it's almost done, you're going to add um, some more cheddar cheese on top, and it is so, so good. You look so beautiful. So lucky to be yours And you're taking me high Ain't nobody like you I'm not coming down Ain't nobody like you I could go a thousand miles As long as I'm with you Yeah, you're taking me high Ain't nobody, ain't nobody like you Okay, so I'm gonna pop the lid on this and this is going to cook on low for about four to five hours. After about four hours, I'm going to check it and then maybe top it with some more cheese. The cheese is the best part, so don't skimp out. Also, you can add onion if you like, but I do not like onion, so that is that. Okay, so these have been going for about four and a half hours and they look so good. I went back and added that cheese and let that melt completely and it just looks really, really good. So I'm going to plate this and we're actually gonna have these for dinner tonight with some chicken and corn and it's just gonna be delicious. So definitely try this one at your Thanksgiving. Okay, so now I'm going to be sharing a little bit of a different recipe. This one you typically don't see on your Thanksgiving table, but I thought it was different and fun and I think I'm gonna try it and take it to my um, Thanksgiving and see how everyone likes it. But it is a roasted butternut squash salad. It has like pecans in it, it has cranberries in it, um, roasted butternut squash, and then roasted Brussels sprouts. And I know everyone is like, turns their head when you hear the word Brussels sprouts, but it really is um, so good in this salad. So I think you should try it, but we're gonna make it together. So I'm gonna flip you around and show you the ingredients and what we're working with. <music> So first you're going to take your halved Brussels sprouts and you're going to mix those with a little bit of oil and some salt. Mix those together and lay them out flat on your pan with the halved side down. Then you're going to move on to your butternut squash and coat them with a little bit of cinnamon and a little bit of honey. I don't measure these, just kind of eyeball it. And then I'm also going to lay those out on a pan and stick these in a 400 degree oven for about 20 minutes. Okay, so I did flip these over after about five minutes and both sides got really nice and brown, which is, which is what I wanted. So these look great. These look great. Added in my pecans for about five minutes. Um, these got brown, but they're still soft with a little bit of crunch. I think this is absolutely perfect. I'm gonna let all this sit for about another five to 10 minutes and then we're going to assemble our salad. So this is really, really easy. Basically, you throw everything in a bowl together. I did forget to say earlier on, you just roast your pecans for about the last five minutes. I just added those in and you mix it all together. Add your dried cran cranberries on top and it is so good and so beautiful. Okay, so my bowl is too big. This didn't make as much as I thought it would. Um, so this is probably perfect for two people. I would definitely double this if you are going to take this to Thanksgiving. But I think the colors in it are so beautiful. You've got the bright orange, the bright green. You've got this pop with those dried cranberries in there. I think it is so beautiful. Will look so pretty on your Thanksgiving table. 
so definitely try this one at home um, and you can also go in and add some honey or some maple syrup over top if you want like more of a dressing um, but I don't think it needs it so that's totally optional okay so I am going to show you a really easy corn uh, recipe it is cream corn I think this would be perfect if you need something last minute corn is also a beautiful color and I think it looks really pretty in a dish and then you can add some garnishes on top and I think it would be perfect so I'm gonna flip you all around and show you all, all the ingredients okay so I of course have corn here in this um, you're gonna use five cups of thawed corn I had corn on the cob so I'm gonna have to um, take this off the cob if you have bags that would work better but you really just want it to be really thawed out so I put mine in the microwave for a couple of minutes and then a couple tablespoons of butter salt pepper garlic powder I'm adding in garlic and onion powder it doesn't call for that but add that in everything a little bit of cayenne um, heavy whipping cream one cup of whole milk you're gonna mix the milk and the flour a little bit to give it some thickness and then a little bit of sugar So here I just let my butter melt over medium heat, added my corn, all of my spices, and my heavy cream, stirred this constantly for probably about three to four minutes, and then I'm going to add in the rest of my ingredients. We call for one cup of milk and three tablespoons of um, all-purpose flour. I did about three-fourths cup of milk and two heaping tablespoons of flour because I don't have quite five cups of corn. But you're just going to whisk that together and then you're going to add it to your mixture. And one thing I forgot to say is that you are going to want to stir this constantly. Um, my pan is hard to do one handed my pan spins um, but you don't want it to stick and you want it to get thick so just stir this constantly for about five minutes until you get the consistency that you like and that is seriously it, it is so easy Okay, so this was probably the easiest recipe ever. It thickened within like three minutes. I did not have to stand there and stir it long and it turned out perfect. I love it. You can add more milk um, if it's a little bit too thick. Just kind of play with it, but I think this is so pretty on the Thanksgiving table. You can add some garnishes on top um, and it's just so, so easy and fast. So if you need a last minute idea, I think this one would be perfect. Thank you all for watching today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it and got some inspiration um, for your Thanksgiving holiday. Let me know if you always make like the tried and true recipes or if you try to change it up every year. I um, have not always cooked Thanksgiving because we have such a big family, but I think I'm gonna take um, especially that butternut squash salad and see what everyone else thinks because it is a little bit different. So let me know in the comments what y'all do for Thanksgiving and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.